Hi friends, I'm Gina and I'm glad you're here. Today we're doing Instant Pot Cabbage Rolls. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm placing a trivet in the bottom. I'm pouring in one and a half cups of water. Placing my cabbage in there. This is an eight quart, just so you know, so it's it can handle a, a, a bigger head of cabbage, so you might want to go with a smaller one if you're using a six quart. Right, so I'm putting this in the sealing position and I'm uh, put, turning it on to cook for five minutes. So while the cabbage is cooking, I've got two pounds of ground beef, which you could actually use like a pound of ground beef and a pound of pork or turkey. Let's see, I'm gonna add my spices. Here I have a teaspoon of salt. Uh, I have some dill, uh, some black pepper, and a little bit of thyme. I will give you guys the exact measurements below. This is two tablespoons of parsley, a medium onion chopped up, and add that. I'm going to use a tablespoon of minced garlic. I have one cup of cooked rice. Two eggs. One teaspoon of Worcestershire. One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. That's a mouthful. Okay, so guys, I'm going to use my hands, but if that grosses you out, you can definitely um, fast forward past this, or for yourself, you can use gloves. My mom and my grandma taught me to do my cooking, and they, well, they really didn't even measure things, so trying to get better at giving you guys measurements has been a challenge at times, <laughs> but... Uh, the way they taught me, they got in there with their hands and just about everything. Okay, so the timer's going off and I'm going to... So we're going to start peeling these and you're going to have to do it very carefully. And by the way, I've let this cool quite a bit before I'm handling it and if it's still too, if it's still too hot I may wait a little longer even. Some people find it easier to peel the cabbage leaves if they core it, core this cabbage first. And this I'm going to cut up and put in the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to put this trivet back in the Instant Pot. And put these pieces of cabbage in the bottom here. here. On these larger leaves, you might want to trim down this piece here. Sometimes on the bigger ones, it kind of bothers me on the the other ones not so much just kind of up to you so I'm going to take each leaf put some meat in it roll and tuck and roll and then I'm going to place it into the on top of the cabbage that's in the instant pot with the seam side down. Before I get that very full, I'm going to put a cup and a half of water in the bottom of this pan, of the instant pot. Cup and a half. You can put more or less of the meat mixture, just kind of according to how big you want yours to be and also according to how big your leaves are. This is two cans of soup. I'm just going to pour it over top. And remember, I put the cup and a half of water in the bottom before I started filling it. I 
right, we'll put that in the ceiling position. And then I'm going to set this for 18 minutes. So I, to be honest, I got a little distracted. It has natural release for about 20 minutes, but you only need to let yours natural release for about 15. So I'm going to let the steam out. Okay, so it is dropped. I'm excited to give these a try. I like salt. I think I might have liked a little bit more salt, but it's really good. Ah, uh -huh, remedy. Let's see here. Hmm. That's all it needed. It was perfect. Thanks for watching.